Let's look at his actions. It will show knowing acts and acts of criminal responsibility. But first, he provides all the drinks. And you've got to remember, remember the text. I'm going to F a new girl tonight. He already had plans. He already had plans. He had an experience the night before where he couldn't get an erection, so he's going to try a new girl tonight. He gets a cab, I guess, so it's speculation pretty much. We don't have him in a cab, but evidently we saw a cab possibly go into her apartment complex. Then he gets her car and drives to the dorm. So he knew where to, how to get to the dorm. You got to drive a car and you got to get in a car. That's pretty much awareness, I think. Then he recruits the three co co-defendants <coughs> to go upstairs, even though he can carry her by himself. I don't know why he needs three people to help him. Uh, with who's carrying by himself, maybe one to open the elevator for him, open the door. Do you need three? He carries the victim, obviously. And he starts videoing the victim in the hall. And you heard him on there, my cell phone's going down. Is that someone that has an awareness of their circumstances surrounding him? <coughs> and he passes out condoms. Is that assisting commission on offense? That alone, if you believe he passed those condoms out, it's criminal responsibility. He has the intent to promote or assist the crime, and he assists. Videos and photos, he takes those on his phone. Does that show someone who's aware of their surroundings that you can use a phone to do videos and you can actually send them? Encouragement and coaching, you've heard, you've heard the video. I won't go into it again, squeeze it, squeeze it. All of, that's <coughs> encouragement. You heard Mr. McKenzie talk about him coaching. And Ms. Norman mentioned yesterday, you watch him, how he's handling the people, getting on the elevator when they come out of the room. He's directing. That's sufficient alone under the law to find him criminal responsible. Then he destroys the condoms. That act alone is sufficient for criminal responsibility. Covers up the camera. So he can try to slip her out where nobody will see him. Calls Boyd at East Hall to help him fix things. Then you heard the statements to Dylan Vanderwall. Is that new? No. Is he knowing what had happened? Was he aware of the circumstances? What did he tell him? He told him I wanted to have sex with her, but I couldn't get an erection because it's too high. He told him I got rid of the condom. And he told them they stuck a bottle in him. And he attempts to wipe the computer. Luckily, he wasn't successful. He pressures Quisano to lie. Now, those the actions of Mr. Vandenberg. Are those the actions of an innocent person? Are those the actions of a person who's not criminally responsible for what happened? If you look at all the evidence in this case, there's no question. <coughs> Elizabeth Lackey was the victim of a senseless, violent act. And it wasn't just about sexual gratification and fun. It was about degrading her, humiliating her. She's a victim. Victim. Not an alleged victim, a victim. A victim that came in here with the courage to take that witness stand and face her attackers. A victim that had the courage to come in here in search of justice. Don't deny her justice. <laughs>